guys welcome to water baby tarot this is the first half of december love reading for aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter excuse me <clears throat> my throat hasn't been um awesome today i've done a lot of readings today so that's probably why okay so aqua how are you guys i hope you guys are doing good i'm just gonna jump right into the meditative session that i did so aqua the first thing i heard was milk and honey <laughs> and i was like oh oh yeah aqua you are living in the land of milk and honey or at least you will be shortly based off the energy i was feeling uh <clears throat> excuse me uh, I feel like you're getting a lot of rewards for all of your hard work. And really, honestly, you've you've really cut a lot of people out and you've put a lot of shit behind you. I feel like part of this reward is make it, that's making you feel rich. Even if you're not coming into money, you feel rich. You feel wealthy. You feel abundant. And I think part of that is honestly just, how do I say this? It's like you gave it to yourself, okay? You gave it to yourself. And I feel like you recently put past... Uh, some pain that someone's caused you or painful situations or people that just don't bring you the milk and honey, right? People who just don't bring that energy back to you. You realize that it's to your benefit to do away with that shit. And so because of that, you're feeling a lot better. You're feeling rich. You're feeling wealthy, okay? In a really, really good place. It feels very positive, very high vibe. feels very queen of pentacles. You could actually be doing a lot of work right now as well. Or it could be giving you the confidence you need to actually focus on work or do better at work. I'm getting a lot of like pentacles energy with you, even though you're an air sign. Very, very earthy. Keep in mind, we do have a lot of earth earth energy going on in December. I will have my words with me soon, I promise. Oh, boy. <coughs> oh, aqua. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I do feel though that someone has you on their mind heavily and I feel like it's it's many people not just one person but I feel like a lot of you might actually get a little bit of a unwelcomed surprise as far as communication is concerned because like I said I can feel it you you put away the people Jesus that dog you put away the people in situations that didn't bring you that milk and honey okay and they're thinking about you because you did away with them it's only natural. That's how energy works. That's how people react, right? Um, and I feel like there might be at least one person, maybe even more, that might be so ballsy to maybe say something about it, okay? They see that you're doing better. They see that you're you're more, you're healthier. You're in a better place. You're happier. And it's like, God damn it. I want a little milk and honey. And it's like, well, you don't bring the milk and honey and you're not going to get my milk and honey. You know, it's kind of, it's an energy like that. So I'll, let's go ahead <clears throat> So sorry, I was going into your pre-shuffle here. I did just see the fox. I did just see a fox. You you might have to. Mm, I don't think you have to, but I, I think <laughs> I think you're going to get a little like Aquarian on them. Like I think you might actually use your words to make them feel a little shitty. And I'm not saying that that's like an Aquarian trait, but like you're very intelligent, Aquas. You're very witty. You're very charismatic. You know how to use your words to either make people feel really great or to put them in their place. I think you're gonna be putting this person in their place, okay? If you're getting multiple people, some of you are getting that. Some of you are getting multiple people. Most of you, I think it's just gonna be one. If anyone hits you up from the past, um, but just be mindful of that you're gonna be putting people in their place who didn't give you that milk and honey that you went and got for yourself, all right? Okay, Aqua, let's go into this. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. All them lights? Why am I hearing all them lights? All them lights. I don't know what that's about, Aqua. I don't resonate for whoever it's for. It's like, I don't know if you're in the public eye or if it's like Christmas lights. All them lights. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. I'm using the Beautiful Creatures deck. It's a little hard to handle, but I felt drawn to it for you guys. I felt really drawn to it. It is a flashy deck. It's very flashy. So some of you guys, I think you guys are just feeling fancy because you're feeling so damn good, honestly. And those of you who are coming into money, you're definitely showing it. You're definitely showing it. You're changing your appearance, buying some bling. Oh, didn't mean to shake the camera so much. My bad, guys. Buying name brands, buying some shoes. Oh, 
That's where I swore I saw a peeker. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. I'm getting July. <clears throat> June and July has been coming forward for a few people. That might have been a very important month for you. Month for you. Wow. Six of Wands. What did I say? Look at you rocking it, milk and honey. That is success. That is victory. That is getting the accolades and getting the rewards. Look at you. You beautiful. Okay. With a butter with all those butterflies, I feel like it's just representative of who you are now that now that you've cut away the people who don't bring you that milk and honey. And we have temperance, Sagittarian energy. So even though so you guys might actually be getting attention in the public eye. That's coming in strong with all the lights that I got. Anyway, Aqua, with temperance here, you're not letting it get to your head. You are handling it quite well. You're really enjoying it for those who are coming into a lot of financial success or a lot of attention. You're handling it well. Your ego's in check. You're just enjoying yourself. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I never even noticed that before. Look at you and your milk and honey, Aqua. Please bring forward any messages. Oh, I did have a peeker. Ooh, you are one. I like this. It's a card of um being very genuine, true to yourself. It's also a card of being... Where are my words tonight? I'm so sorry, guys. It's also an energy of being very much um, connected with someone uh, on the same page, on the same wavelength. Let's see. Now we also have... Ooh. Two of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Wands. I feel an unpleasant visitor. I feel like you're blocking someone out here where there's a connection that's really imbalanced. or It hasn't served you is what I just heard. It hasn't served you. Whoever this person is, it is a soulmate. It hasn't served you at all. You're shutting them out. You're shutting them out. Um, ooh, Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it was not pretty. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't fun. Um, you're at peace right now. You're at peace and you don't want to play any games. You don't want to play the game. That's, you're enjoying your milk and honey, okay? <laughs> you don't want to be disturbed. You don't want to be disturbed with any games, any ego shit, any low, vib any low vibrational shit. See, unpleasant visitor. Like, you, you don't want to be bothered. You don't want to be bothered with that shit. Now, for some of you, this person might feel like you are their person, that you are their other half. Some of them might feel that way about you. Whether it's true or not, you're looking at this person like, you bring games, you bring drama, you bring low vibrational shit, you bring ego. I'm in a really good place now. I'm in a really good place. For some of you, this is more than just one person. It's multiple soulmates that you cut off. Soulmates for those who are new to spirituality or new to the community. Hello, welcome. Uh, we get a lot of soulmates. <clears throat> They're part of our soul tribe. There's sometimes they're just there to teach us lessons. Sometimes they're there to be with us for a long period of time, a short period of time. You don't want to be bothered. You enjoying your milk and honey, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading here. Actually, let me get some water first. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay, Aqua, I'm good. I'm good. So those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. We read for thousands of people here on YouTube. <clears throat> So not all these messages can be for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? So as you heard me set the intention already. So if it's not your story, that's okay. Just don't take it home with you if it's not yours. I do get multiple messages for different people sometimes. So hang around, you might get something for you. Even if it's just one sentence, if it resonates with you, take it home with you. You heard it for a reason. It's resonating for a reason. Energy is fluid, not linear. So keep in mind, messages can be reversed or vice versa. But if you're resonating, you already know who you are in the story, okay? Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And even though this is for the first half of December, time is not linear either. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Okay, Aqua, let's do it. Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? <laughs> I love this deck, but it is hard to shuffle, man. All right. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? One more, one more, one more. There we go. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Someone's going to say I wanted to congratulate you. 
that's going to be someone's entry point into a conversation, but I don't feel like you want to talk to them. Yeah, I don't feel like you want to talk to them, Aqua. I can feel that. It's like, yes, like that's like someone's line or way of entry, way to get, way to start talking to you. I just want to congratulate you. I, I just like, I heard it so clear. I just want to congratulate you. And it's like, uh, alarm bells, alert, alert, defense, seven of wands. <laughs> Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of... Ooh, the decadence. The decadence. Wait, 16. I should know what 16 is in the Major Arcana. Abruption. Wait a minute. Let me think about this. Hold on. Death is 13. It's the tower, isn't it? The tower. Pretty damn sure that's the tower. Scorpio could also be Aries or Mars. I feel like it's the tower. Why does it feel oddly calm? It feels oddly calm. The decadence. That is so weird. I feel like it is the tower. Straight up, I feel like it's the tower card. But there's an eerie calm about it. It's kind of creeping me out. Even the card's a little creepy, I guess. Even the card's a little creepy here. But I do feel like this is the tower energy. Is it coming down slowly? Like someone's watching a, a tower moment unfold. <clears throat> Someone's watching a tower moment unfold. That's what I'm getting with that. Someone's watching a tower moment unfold. Yeah, the tower is a 16. Okay, now it's driving me crazy because I feel like that's the case, but now I gotta check. Hold on, let me go through another deck. I'm almost positive it is. I really feel that way. Like someone's watching a tower moment come down, but they're oddly calm about it. Like they know it's gonna happen. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is the tower. Okay, that's what I thought. Someone's watching a tower moment happen. Are they enjoying it? I'm like, it's eerie. It's like they're enjoying it. Hold on. Any other messages for Aquarius? Any other messages for Aquarius? Regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? Yeah, someone knew this tower moment was going to happen. They're watching it happen. If they can't actually watch it, they're just waiting to get news of it happening is what I'm getting. Aqua, this could be you or someone else. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? The Hermit. Virgo energy here. This is coming in after the tower moment. Someone's isolating themselves. I, oh, yeah, I feel like this is a person who's suffering this tower moment. Whoever suffered this tower moment, they're, they're going into isolation mode. They're going to be alone to recover, mostly to recover and getting catching their breath. What the hell, Aqua? Catching their breath here. For some, this could even be a trip. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love for the first half of December? Wow. Two cards, Aqua? That's a new record. Holy shit. Overall energy. We got an Ace of Swords. Truth. Knowing. Inner knowing. I'm getting heavy intuition off of this. Inner knowing. Like I said, whoever's watching this tower or waiting to get news of this tower, they knew already it was going to happen. They already knew. They already knew. They already knew through their intuition it was going to happen. Like there was no way this tower wasn't going to come down. And the person who's suffering this tower moment goes into hermit mode. It doesn't feel quite like running away, but just like, like, wow, I really need to catch my breath. I really need to recover from what just happened. But there's another energy here who knew it was going to happen. Underneath the Ace of Swords, we do have King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra here. I feel like this is actually the energy suffering the tower. Very masculine. Aqua, it could be you, but it can be vice versa. Underneath that, we have a King of Wands as well. It could even be a Gemini. It usually happens when I'm usually happens when Geminis show up in a reading. They do get tend to get two court cards. Doesn't have to be. I'm like, I'm mostly joking. Um, but we have King of Wands in reverse and King of Swords in reverse. 
Yeah, I feel like a very masculine energy is going into hermit mode because they're suffering a tower moment and someone knew it was going to happen. They're either watching this happen or they're waiting to get news of it happening, but they knew. They knew it was inevitable. Let's go into this tower. We can really get into this aqua since you guys only got two cards. Wow. <clears throat> Jesus. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, okay. Yeah, let's look at this tower moment. Um, I'm gonna use Radiant Wise for this one. Tell me about this tower. Tell me about this tower for Aquarius. What's going on with this tower moment, please? For Aquarius for the first half of December. I feel like someone's secrets are coming out the truth of like the truth of how someone really is is coming out with this tower and the person who's watching or waiting to hear the news they knew it was gonna happen I'm like sorry I'm like I can't get over that they knew it was gonna happen so just watching and waiting watching and waiting as someone's true character unfolds or as someone's true character is like unveiled <clears throat> Someone's true character is a bit of a player. Player or like non-committal. Player is kind of a, a rough word for that. We'll say non-committal. Self-serving. Self-serving. A bit of a self-serving energy. Play with the tower. Someone who's not honest. Someone who's not exactly honest either. Someone who's not honest and someone who's not very, who's not very uh, selfless. Not very compassionate either. Yeah, someone who's very wrapped up in themselves. Very wrapped up in themselves. They know when to say stuff and know when to not, not to say stuff to their benefit. It's not necessarily manipulative. I mean, that's kind of a good skill to have, but I feel like this person uses that skill to be manipulative. And someone knew that this was going to happen to this person. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. For Aquarius, for the first half of December. Tell me about this tower, please. For Aquarius. Jesus, more scorpionic energy, death in reverse. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm getting more of this like peeling back of who someone really is. Death in reverse can be a rebirthing energy here of someone who is quite literally, it's like new, fresh, peeled back. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Whoa. 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 Ace of Cups and a King of Swords in reverse. It's that mask. Yeah, this masculine energy is suffering this tower with the Ace of Cups. This is about love. Oh my God. It's like, it's almost like this person, not only was this person's character truly unveiled, but it's also their heart. Their heart's been unveiled. Where their heart really lies is unveiled. Who they really love, what they really love is unveiled. Oh my God, I'm like getting the chills. Tell me about the tower. And there's chaos because of it. Nine of swords. Someone's freaking the fuck out because of it. It's this masculine energy. I don't know how this time moment's happening. It seems like it's an unveiling of information. But on Oh, for some, I'm actually getting like a public, a public humiliation. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Um, however, this unveiling is happening. It's unveiling who this person really is and what's really in their heart as far as who they love and what they love and they're really freaking out because of it. It's like they couldn't stop it and someone's waiting to hear news of this because they knew it was going to happen or they're watching this happen because they knew it was going to happen. Wow. Time with the tower. Time with the tower for Aquarius. I'm hearing Scorpio. Well, we got a lot of Scorpio energy here. Judgment. Ooh. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Wow. Oh, oh, I got the heebie-jeebies, guys. Okay, so this king, like I said, they're freaking out. It's inevitable. It's unstoppable. This tower moment, this unveiling of, of what they love, who they love, and who they really are with judgment, with the nine of swords. It's almost like they, they know karma is raining down on them. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's like, it's making me squirm. It's making me squirm. And like, I feel like that's how this person feels when this happens. I don't think this has happened yet. I think it's, I think it's gonna happen and it hasn't happened yet. We got a lot of Judgment Day energy too, by the way, in December. 
all the way through to February. February is going to be a big, huge burst of that energy. But yeah, it's like they know karma's raining down on them or they know that spirit is yelling at them or like putting them through this. Like it has to happen. Lovers on the bottom, by the way. Oh my God. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, for some, at night, this king is having a lot of issues. Okay. At night, this king's having a lot of issues because they're seeing they're seeing a lot in their dreams. They're seeing a lot in their dreams or they're actually like getting a lot of messages of like you like they know what they're supposed to be doing. Like they know the right thing to do and they haven't been doing the right thing. And with this tower, it's like they're either being forced to do it or everything's being revealed and it's like, well, you had your chance to do the right thing and you didn't do it. Can I have the tower? Can I have the tower? I really wanted to come out. Can I have the tower? For Aquarius, time of the tower. For Aquarius, regarding love for the first half of December. Wow. All right, so I got three more cards out here. Four of Pentacles in a verse with the star, Aqua, your major arcana card. I actually like this just representing you, to be honest. I feel like you're representing the star here. And like I said, you're enjoying your milk and honey, so you would kind of be in this energy. With the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini could also be air or fire. Lots of air going on here. Lots of air. I feel like you're not... Aqua, you might be the one who knew this tower was coming. I feel that really strong. Like you knew it was coming or you're just waiting to hear about it. Like, yeah, you knew. I feel like you knew. You knew. I don't know how you knew other than through your intuition. Like whether you just innately knew, you got a vision of it, you had confirmations of it, or just... That was like logically, that was the only thing that could happen. You're very intelligent. Aquas tend to be very intelligent. Yeah, and the person, this king who's suffering this tower moment, man, it's like karma's raining down on them, or they feel the brunt of karma because of this tower moment, because they're so exposed, because they're so freaking exposed. And others, it's like they've been getting a lot of shit happening to them at night because they haven't been doing the right thing or what they're supposed to be doing. But with the Four of Pentacles in a verse and the Star and the Knight of Swords in a verse, it's an energy of like, again, that like peeling back vulnerability, feeling powerless. <clears throat> this person feels powerless, defenseless even. They feel very vulnerable, very vulnerable when it comes to you, Aqua, but with the Knight of Swords in a verse, I don't feel like they're talking to you very much about this. They're holding it in. They're holding it back, but you already know they're suffering through it. You already know. Over energy? Yeah. Four of Wands, Aries energy, and then we have Seven of Wands. Aqua, I feel like you're, you're really, like, you're really removed from this person, okay? I feel like you put boundaries up to them because you had to. You had to. I, like, King of Swords universe, King of Wands universe, they weren't serving your highest good. They weren't giving you that milk and honey, okay? And that's what you needed for yourself. And you're really guarding your stability and you're guarding against this person. But I feel like it's just healthy boundaries. I feel like it's healthy boundaries. And now this tower is coming in. Who they really are is being exposed. And they might be realizing it for the first time to themselves. That could be the exposure just to themselves. But I feel like it's kind of public. I feel like it's to other people and who they really care about, what they really care about, what they love, who they love. And they're having a really hard time with it. A really hard time with it. And you knew it was going to happen. You knew they were going to have this light bulb moment one day or that this was going, just going to happen to the people in their environment that they were just going to know and find out through whatever means. Now we've got the hermit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out this energy. I know this is really intense, guys. Really intense. I'm going to use right away for this one. <clears throat> Time with the hermit. Time with the hermit. Time with the Hermit for Aquarius for the first half of December. Time with the Hermit for Aquarius for the first half of December. Time with the Hermit. Oh, won't be taking those. Didn't feel right. Time with the Hermit. If they want to come out again, they'll come out again. It looked like it was the Eight of Wands. I couldn't see the other one. Time of the Hermit for Aquarius for the first half of December. Oh, that's too many. That's too many, Spirit. That's too many. Thank you. 
sorry. I just can't help but laugh. Uh, both of the first clarifiers out for these cards are death and reverse. Yeah, it's like this person is like peeled back, raw, freshly raw, like totally exposed, totally powerless to what's going on, to this tower moment, whether they're just realizing this themselves of who they really are, how they've really been acting, who they really love, what they really care about, or it's being exposed to the people in their environment or very publicly. Wow. It, it feel it, it's a really horrible feeling. It's it makes me want to squirm. Like it's making me squirm in my skin. Talking about the hermit, and even even after this, they're not saying anything to you, Aqua. Hair. Oh, that's so funny. I put the anyway. Hair font in reverse. Taurian energy. I put this one over with the other pile for some reason. Uh, with the hair font in reverse, I mean that's a very resistant energy, and also not really much con not like. Almost trying to not connect with their higher self. Resistance. I'm getting resistance with this. Now they've been exposed. It's like they're so uncomfortable and feeling so squirmy that they're they're resisting. They're resisting. They're resisting. I'm just getting resisting. Because they're so uncomfortable. Time with the hermit. Jesus, Ace of Cups in reverse. They can't escape what they know, but they're trying to. They're trying to. And they can't. And I feel like Spirit's not letting them. Not letting them. Time about the Hermit. Jesus, Six of Cups in reverse. The longer they try to resist what they already know... The, the worse they're going to feel. The worse they're going to feel. Jesus, another reversal. Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. I feel like they're looking back on this path. Oh, it's who they love. That's what it is. The, the person they love or what they love. I feel like it's a person. I got to be honest. It feels like a person. There's a sense of heavy manipulation around it or sitting in ego. Heavy manipulation and sitting in ego. They're trying really hard to not face this, but they, they can't not face it. They can't not face it. Like, that's where my heart truly lies, and that's what I did. I can't face what I did. I can't face it. Don't make me face it. Don't make me face it. Don't make me face it. Tell me about the Hermit for Aquarius. There's the Eight of Wands. Came out again. Sag Energy. Communication and, and forward movement here could even be indicative of travel, but they need to. They need they need to look at it. They need to look at it if they need to if they can. Ah, where are my words? They need to look at it if they want to not feel shitty anymore. Okay, they need to. I feel like they do want an open line of communication, but it's like they have to deal with all this guilt and shit. They're feeling all kinds of guilt, major regret, shame. A lot of that. Talking about the Hermit. Wow. To the Ten of Cups. They want to be happy. If they want to be happy, they got to face this shit. They've been ripped open already. <laughs> I know it sounds like very graphic. They've been ripped open. Okay, they have. They've been ripped open. It, it, they might as well face it so they can go off and be happy here. Okay. Talking about the Hermit. This card really wants to come out. Wow. Yeah, they got to face the truth. Moon in reverse. Piscean could also be Cancerian. Overall energy, we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel really unstable right now, uh, losing their security. They might have, um, for some, they might have lost some money in this tower moment, or they lost a relationship or some kind of strong foundation here or something that had a long-term potential. Yeah, had long-term potential. Had long-term potential. They have to face this. They have to. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck. They know that and they're, they they just, oh my God, they're just having such a hard time with this. Aqua, like I said, I feel like you were very aware that this tower moment was going to happen. Whether you actually watched it happen or you're just waiting for the news of it, all the while keeping your boundary. Keeping your boundary and protecting your stability. While well, this person lost their stability. But they know if they want their happiness, they got to go for it. Let's look at the Eight of Wands and see what they're going to do about this. I've got an idea <laughs> of what they're going to do. But let's go ahead. I'm using the Honest Truth deck. Let's talk about the Eight of Wands. 
tell me the eight of wands. Tell me the eight of wands for Aquarius for the first half of December. Tell me about the eight of wands. Come on. Okay. Tell me the eight of wands. Tell me about the eight of wands for Aquarius for the first half of December. Okay. Ooh, yikes. Moon in reverse with the three of swords and the page of cups in reverse. Someone lied? Wait a minute. Why can't I hold cards? <laughs> That's been happening to me a lot lately. It's very annoying. Anyway, so really recognizing, owning, and facing the pain that's been caused by dishonesty, their dishonesty, or their lack of ability to communicate their actual feelings here. I do feel for most of you it's dishonesty. That they have to face that. They have to face that. Whether dishonesty means full-on lies or they just didn't weren't honest with you or themselves. They caused a lot of pain because of that. Time about the eight of wands. Tell me about the eight of wands for Aquarius for the first half of December. Page of swords. Communicating that. Tell me about the eight of wands for Aquarius. I'm hearing Sag. Jesus. Eight of swords. A lot of fear. Wow, this person's just so afraid to face themselves. It's kind of sad. It's a little sad, you know? Um, really afraid to just face themselves, face what they've done. Face what it means, right? Face what it means about them. But I feel like once they rip off the band-aid and just do it, like it's gonna be so much better than they think it is, like so much easier than they think it is, or so much like it's it, once you do it, it's done. Once you just rip off the band-aid, it's done. Tell me about the eight of wands for Aquarius. Yeah, I keep hearing Sagittarius. Over energy. Eight of Cups with the world in reverse. Yeah, they want to move towards their 10. Eight always goes to the 10. That's what they want. They want their happiness. They want to end the cycle of pain. They want to end the cycle of, of this shit, of having this guilt, of having this regret, of whatever they did to really manipulate or even sabotage this person or thing that they love. I do feel like it's a person. And Aqua, I do, honestly, I feel like it's you. Well, there's a lot of working through their own shit. And Aqua, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. With this Eight of Wands. I mean, Eight of Wands is like unstoppable communication unstoppable communication with the page of swords and the moon universe clarity on that shit like i feel like you're definitely gonna be hearing from them and i think you already knew it was gonna happen you knew the tower was gonna happen if you knew the tower was gonna happen you knew this communication was gonna come into you you knew i kind of want to see where you guys are at because this is i mean the only thing i see with you is this like your boundaries <laughs> I'm over here on my milk and honey. Don't disturb me in my milk and honey. <laughs> and honestly, maybe that's all you got going on right now. Um, yeah, I, that's honestly what I feel like. <laughs> Let me enjoy my milk and honey, please. Keep in mind, Aqua, this could be you. You could be the king here. Um, it is King of Swords. It is your court card. It doesn't have to be, though. It can be vice versa. But that's, that's what I'm feeling with this. Like, you really are just enjoying yourself and you're protecting yourself at that you want to keep, you want to hold on to your stability. You want to hold on to your happiness. You worked really hard to get it. I picked up on all that already. And you're just living life, man. You're just living life. And this person is ah, in such a really, really tough place. I, I do feel for them. To be honest with you, Aqua, I feel for them. Like, imagine sitting, like this especially, imagine sitting in this shit. I, I can't imagine sitting in that shit. It's like, what is that? What is that? The sort of, I can never say that. I can never say that. The sort of, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like just hanging over their head. Back and forth, back and forth. But I can't live that way. I don't like, I don't know how some people can. Some people can, I can't. I can't live that way. Um, but yeah, Aqua, you're just in a really good place. And so hold on to that. Enjoy that. You will be hearing from this person. I like, there's no way in hell you're not going to be hearing from this person. There's no way. It's the only way that they're going to find contentment within themselves to get closure from this shit, okay? 
and they might not even ask for you like to deal with you again in the way they were before i think they just need to like speak their truth you know there's a lot of guilt and heavy shit to hold on to a lot a lot yeah let's go ahead and pull some advice mm -hmm. let's do this one spirit animal deck any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Oh, thank you. Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, 30 breaking down to three. This is definitely for them. Definitely for that masculine energy who really just needs to like just go and have that conversation because they know they have to. They know there's there's they know they have to. There's no way around it at this point. If they want to get rid of this guilt and all this shit, they, get, they have to have this conversation. Any other advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Whoa, okay, okay. So we have Giraffe Spirit, see the big picture, 29 breaking down to an 11. They are seeing the big picture. They know. <laughs> they know what they have to do. They know what they have to do. And uh, for my more, you know, my Aqua's enjoying their milk and honey and keeping your boundaries here. Again, you already knew this was going to happen. You already freaking knew. You already knew. And most of you, I think, already knew this conversation was going to come your way too because you understand karma. You understand how this shit works. And you understand that they had to go through this and that maybe that you have to have this conversation for closure purposes. Like I said, you never have to take anyone back in your life that you don't want to, especially if you worked really hard to cut them out, right? But you already know, Aqua. You already know. Now we have Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Uh, 26 breaking down to an eight. This is about being halfway through shit, being in a period of transition. This is where they are. And to take it day by day. This is for them, for any of my kings that might be watching. Take it day by day. Don't make yourself insane. You're already clearly in that in that place of like, this is too fucking much, right? Um, but before you can really get to that point of like talking to this milk and honey individual, uh, you got to take it day by day in your healing process and own up and face yourself, okay? For some, this King of Swords is a bit of a narcissist. I gotta be honest, I'm getting a little narky vibes off of this person. Um, and you know, that's the thing with narcissism. It's really hard for narcissists to get rid of their narcissistic ways if they're really severe. Because you know, narcissists think something is wrong with them. This person is finding out there are some things. This, this actually might be a case of a narcissist realizing they're a narcissist and they can't deal. Okay, I feel like it's more of a narcissist that was made a narcissist through trauma. All right. Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Ooh, Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Oh, yes, it is. 60 bringing on to a six. This is going into your deep, deep ass emotional waters here for introspective purposes. The hermit, that is this masculine energy. That's what they have to do. Any other advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Overall, we have Turtle Spirit. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. 62, breaking down to an 8. Yeah, this it's going to take time. It's going to take time because, like I said, this person, the hardest thing for them is to face themselves. Again, feels a, very, feels a little murky here. Facing themselves, facing who they really are, and what they really love and what they really care about and what they did to that person or thing they really loved and cared about, which Aqua, I do feel like is you, okay? But keep in mind, it can be vice versa. And Aqua, you're off living in the land of milk and honey. And it's really hard for them to swallow that pill because they basically manipulated something or, or deceived you in the past or something of that nature. And you're living your best life now. They weren't serving your highest good and you went, no, thank you. No, thanks. No, thanks. I got my milk and honey. Thank you. Yeah. So it's it's going to take time for them. So if, the, if you are expecting this conversation, which like I said, a lot of you are, and it is going to happen, it's probably going to take some time before it actually comes in. Okay. But I feel like it is to wrap up some shit, just get some closure. Like I said, you don't have to take this person back. 
just close the door, you know, in a nice way. But you already knew. You already knew this tower was coming. You know this conversation's coming. You're enjoying life anyway, away from this person and away from anyone else who wasn't serving your highest good or anyone else who was not giving you that opportunity for milk and honey, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Namaste.